Good morning. We're Free Spirit Fabrics here. We're uh, here with a wonderful guest today. We have Kay Fassett here. He's going to be talking with us about his new book. Um, the new book is heading out to store, or it's in stores. It's available now. Kay Fassett's Timeless Themes. So Kay will be here to tell us all about the book today. So we're very excited to have him. We'll show you more of the book. Kay will be showing you more of the book in a few minutes here. Uh, the quilt behind me is a boarded panels quilt. It is a 60 by 88. It is, it, it's developed in fabrics for August, 2023. These fabrics are gonna be shipping this August to your local quilt shop. And you can see in here, there's one of Brandon's new uh, fabric designs. It's called Reflections. And it comes in a multitude of colors. It's really beautiful. Um, and that's actually shipping to shops right now. So that's shipping out uh, right now to the shops the month of April. Uh, so beautiful quilt here. This uh, pattern will be on the Free Spirit website. Uh, so if you're interested in looking for that pattern, go, you'll go find it there when the fabric starts to ship. This fabric's gorgeous here. All of them are gorgeous. Kay and Brandon designed this. Very nice job. Uh, we welcome all of you here today. Please tell us where you're joining us from. We always love to know. As Kaif goes through what he's showing you today out of his new book, uh, you see something you like, please send us a heart, give us some thumbs up. We would like to see what you're responding to, what you think is wonderful that he's showing you. Everything that, you're, that Kaif's going to show is, of course, wonderful. But the extra things that you think are even better give us all kinds of thumbs ups and hearts. We love to hear that. We are gonna have uh, two giveaways in the end, but you have to be live. So if you are interested in answering the question in the end, please stay with us throughout and we will ask those questions. And again, there will be two winners. Um, and other than that, if you have any questions about anything that's going on today, we recommend that you come to the freespiritfabrics.com to our website, or you go to the K Facet Studio website and you know, ask any questions, see anything that you're looking for. You can search on both websites for questions that you may have to anything that we've discussed. So without further ado, I'm going to turn us over to Kaif. So hold on one second here. Kaif, while I change the camera here. Kaif, you're on. Welcome so oh. much. We are thrilled to have you as always. Join us on a free spirit inspired by. Well, uh, I'm delighted to be here, and I cannot remember the name of this quilt. Do you remember, Sharon, what yes, it's called? Yes, it's Sunrise. I just had it open. Sunrise. There we go. So it's just another one of my big uh, bursts uh, using diamonds that just go out for diamonds forever. I think yeah, the name it's the film. Gorgeous. So what, what, what is um, fascinating about this book that uh, we're just bringing out is that we were, um, I was thinking about themes. I was thinking about how to turn people on to uh, a, a, a way of getting started with their creativity if they're a little hesitant. Uh, usually I talk about color and that's always my, my big concern and my passion and what just keeps me going. We've just done workshops down in the country and every quilt in the workshop was a different coloring and it was so inspiring. It's always very exciting to see what people come up with. Um, but what's interesting about this book, I, what I was trying to do was to break down the actual content of the prints that we do. I was going back over our whole history of printmaking and I realized that we, we fall into different moods and different themes uh, for each of the, of the amounts of the quilt collections that we bring out, the uh, fabric collections. And I thought it would be a very good idea for the audience who want to get started with their own quilts to just think about those themes and then think of their own themes. So I, I love little pots with flowers, baskets of fruit and flowers. Um, that's kind of thing. So that's one of the chapters is about that sort of material. Um, and then circles, of course, I'm always circles. You can see some, some orange circles on the, on the uh, quilt behind me here. In fact, this is all about circles. It's all circular patterns in these diamonds uh, in that chapter. And, and then there's stripes. Of course, stripes are very, very exciting. And we start with very regimental stripes, very sort of stiff and strong and 
graphic, and then we go to very, very organic stripes, um, zigzags and crazy things. I'm going to show you. Um, one, one of the things that was really fun about making this book was that Brandon and I are traveling the world constantly, and Brandon has a fabulous eye uh, and, and his camera, his, his wonderful telephone camera ready at the, at the you know, drop of a hat to take any impressions that we see that we might use as an idea back in the studio. And so this book is really a celebration of Brandon's fantastic pictures because um, first of all, there's a nice shot of Brandon and I putting up a quilt and uh, it's, it's the, the locations become part of the book too. And we talk about that. We found a wonderful street with fabulous painted houses. Um, but for instance, when I go into stripes, this is the kind of thing that I found really, really exciting. Um, to, to look at the stripes that are created by a quilt made of diamonds, very much like the one behind me. Um, and this is an old vintage one that I bought that it inspired me. And here was um, just a, a wonderful fair. I went to a beautiful natural stones and great necklaces of fabulous colored green stones. And then zigzags, uh, one of Brandon's classic patterns and a little uh, zigzag uh, bracelet that we brought back from South Africa. And then here's a painting of mine of a great cactus. And you can see how that wonderful stripy leaves of the cactus become an exciting kind of uh, subject matter. And of course, this wonderful zebra. Uh, <laughs> in this country, they call it zebra. We call it zebra. So wherever you are in the world, you've got a pronunciation. Uh, and then, you know, one of my favorite uh, uh, patterns that people seem to think is their favorite for a lot of people are the, my painted fans, which are like um, striped fans. Mm -hmm. And then this was just a, a detail we saw somewhere in the world uh, on the side of a building. Somebody had made this fabulous stripe in gray and cream. And, and it was just so exciting. And then that wonderful little, you can't really see that very well, but that's a, a bottle from South Africa made of wire. So those, those, this is, that was great fun to be able to um, record those kind of um, uh, lovely impressions of our travels. And our travels are very, very important to us. Now here's flowers, of course. One of the things that really uh, excites me more than anything. There's a huge tree of flowers. I don't. I hope that's kind of. Yeah, we can too, see it. Yeah, good. So that's a tree made of tin flowers. There's a close-up of those tin flowers in China. These are enormous, enormous, uh, wonderful, uh, big, big flowers. Well, okay, and, show how you're underneath that. That's that yes, gives exactly. everybody perspective. Yeah, I'm there for scale. Right. So that those flowers are huge. Yeah. Because you're they are six massive. Foot, what are you, six foot three? Yeah, exactly. Right. And so, the, so, the, so those flowers are a, a lot bigger than I am. Right, right. And, and that, that was an amazing thing to find in, in a little park in China, you know, uh, just outdoor art. How mm -hmm. fabulous. And there's another outdoor art. This is just a mural of huge, fabulous flowers. That's beautiful. And yeah, isn't that exciting? I just love that. Uh, and it's so nice to be able to, to have these in a book so we can remember them. And there's a tray of cupcakes that somebody made me oh. that, were, that were flowers. That was in awesome. Houston. Somebody heard that I loved flowers and she made me this tray of cupcakes. Oh, that's it was so, nice. so beautiful. And um, there's a rag rug of mine. You know, so, so all these different textures, these are all ideas that I hope will inspire people in so many different ways um, to create their own collections, um, you know, take a theme. Mm -hmm. um, 
let's see what else we've got here. Oh, Kaif, yes. Okay, if I thought it was very, you already mentioned this, but when I was looking through the book, it's it's sectioned out beautifully in terms of yeah. what you just said, in terms of the stripes and the circles and, you know, the zigzags and, uh, you know, all the geometrics, the flowers and everything in yeah. there. And, you know, the collage of pictures that you just showed us is, yeah. it's really amazing. The photography throughout is beautiful. Well, I, I, I sent a big thank you to the art department at Abrams because we gave them a ton of material and they picked out the most wonderful things to put together. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things that makes me feel that this book is closer to my image of what a book could be than anything else I've done mm -hmm. to date. So I, it's a real favorite of mine. Now here's organic shapes, just kind of extraordinary things. Look at that wonderful agate stone it's with beautiful. all the different colors in it. And this wonderful lichen growing on an old gravestone in Norway. Oh. Uh, and, and one of Brandon's wonderful organic fabrics. It's like a sort of crazy snake skin, animal mm -hmm. skin. Mm -hmm. And um, oh, many other things, you know, just it's just uh, I, I, I love looking at this book myself because I keep looking through it and thinking, oh, yeah, I should do something with with this uh, inspiration. So um, I love anyway. the tree cave that they did yeah. the uh, yarn bombing. Exactly. On. I'm going to try to find that. That's yeah. on page 50, isn't, I think. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. So, I mean, did they make that for the tree? I mean, <laughs> yes, that's in South Africa. And that's that's called love. elegant yarn bombing, stylish yarn bombing, you know, where we're really, really, really looking at colors and making a form out of a tree. This is an enormous tree mm -hmm. covered with these wonderful circles of crocheted fabric. And, and then, of course, my button fabric and then a button hat that I made and a wonderful shell painting of a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. And then my buttons, uh, we're, we're just putting some buttons mm -hmm. like this on one of our quilts for yeah. the next book. And dill. you still have those buttons, those are by- Yeah, dill those are dill, dill buttons and they're doing oh, a dill. wonderful range of, uh, for me. Um, and then you can see Brandon's wonderful uh, dot flower fabric here. Mm -hmm. And there's a, a a shelf full of spools of thread. And that's what led to my spools fabric, which um, is one of my favorites. And is one of the uh, ones that's out in that collection called 85 and Fabulous. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, this is a book that hopefully is going to, it, it, first of all, it's like a fabulous history. If, if you've been following my career and you've been watching the different fabrics that we've come up with over the years you will go down memory lane like no other but for those people who are just coming into the scene and just coming acquainted with uh brandon and and phillips and my fabrics uh of the cave collective you will you will see what the history was of what we made very in the very very early days and all the themes that we have followed through the years and um, so a, this is a real kind of survey. Um, and uh, if, if you really fall in love with something that is kind of vintage and out of sight, uh, quite a few shops now in the world uh, are doing uh, vintage collections of my fabrics. And so you can, if you're really hunting for something, get the word out there some shop in some little funny town in the Midwest or someplace is probably gonna have uh, a vintage section of, of Cave Collective. It's, it's, it's starting to be a thing. Well, that's but, awesome. Yeah, 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 it's really exciting because it's, it's, it's lovely that um, people have had these collections and these bolts of fabric sort of stuck away right. uh, that are coming out now. Right. Uh, Sorry, the quote so maybe how old. Oh yes, yeah. Um, showing you names. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna now show you very quickly um, some uh, different quilts that are in this book. So uh, the first one that you're taking down now is Sunrise. That's in the yeah. book. 
Right. And um, oh, I'm so glad you're showing this one. That one's great. Yeah. I love this one. Do you like it, Sharon? I do. I love yeah. the center of it. The, the yeah. Detail. Yeah. I, I, I thought what was really fun about this was taking these, uh, the, the scale that we did the fabric as a yeah. fabric mm -hmm. um, uh, it, of this pot of flowers called stone flower. But we also did it as a backing. So we get this really big scale thing. And, you know, we've done uh, a lot of the fabrics now as backing. So let's say you take paperweight or something as a theme. Mm -hmm. We've got, uh, you know, big Millie Fury uh, print as, as a backing. You can just have real fun playing with the different scales. I, I, I really love the way this came out to have the small scale and then the nice big bold scale and all mounted on this little uh, paperweight uh, design which I think is just kind of fizzy and lovely. Mm -hmm. And so that was fun. Okay, I think it's great whenever, um, I love seeing a quilt where a quilt back is used in the quilt, you know, like yes. you showed there. And that one's Quite called right. Ain't, and, Ain't, and, and Ain't You Got a Vase is the name of that one. Yeah, and and this is, this is the backing. Wow. So you see, you know, the, that backing scale is quite big and that's a nice beige uh, version of it. Yes, it's beautiful. Now this one is called Sugar Cubes. And what I love about this one is that it, it's mostly um, uh, classics. So you can, you can put most of this quilt together uh, mm -hmm. with the classics that I've used and then find other little spotty, dotty, flowery fabrics. You know, little, little Liberty prints with little pale backgrounds and little of uh, flowers, they do beautiful little small flower prints. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you could find ones that would work perfectly with this and keep it all just kind of champagne bubbles, you know. Mm -hmm. down the yeah, that would be really beautiful. I'm close. So. And a nice big <laughs> shot. <laughs> I hope nobody's getting seasick. I'm rolling around here, but I'm just trying to show you uh, closer. No, it looks Some, great. Thank you. Somebody, yes. Okay. Look at all great. those different spots you have in there. It's amazing yeah. to see all the different designs that you, you have. And I love this little print as the border. What and then on the to? back, I put um, my artisan fabric called Paint Pots. Yeah, I remember that one. It's beautiful. So this was in the circle uh, chapter. Everything is circular. I've got a hexagon. Yeah. Is this now this is called floral checkerboard. Yeah, floral checkerboard. And what I love about this one um, is the strength of it. You know, the really, really the dark backgrounds and the dark and light of it. So that it really is like a checkerboard, but with snowballs, which is one of my favorite design motifs. That's really beautiful. Yeah. Love seeing the up close of those flowers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. And what, what's on the back of this? Ooh. Oh. That's a beauty. Yeah, the mandala, fruit mandala. Mm -hmm. Remember that one, that's gorgeous. Yeah, That was so much fun to paint. Wow, it, it, it was two colorways, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, well, at first it was about five colorways. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> we only went to production, I think, with two, but they were both oh, maybe, gorgeous. Maybe, yeah. Uh, so, oh, I've got, Bobby Dazzler on the back here. Oh, look at that one. Yeah. So the reason I did this one was we did workshops on this. I used to do it very simple with just, you know, polka dots or something on, on the bowls. And when I noticed that people were doing these crazy scrappy quilts with tons and tons of different patterns and wild colors and things and i just got a lot freer 
looking at all that and then put this black and white border of mm-hmm. my oranges on the outside and Brandon's black and white jumble for the sashing. And we have, I think, a very sharp, and the photograph of this in the book was against a black painted wall on this crazy street that we found in London. So, so uh, this one's great... called uh, Scrappy Rice Bowls. It's in the book. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good name for it because it's very scrappy, isn't it? Yes, it's wonderful. And you're right, Kate, that photograph in the book of it is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, that's a question that I had for you guys. I think I ask you that all, almost all the time. I mean, the photography is fascinating in the book. And, mm. you know, you, your locations. I mean, when you go out and find your locations, do you yeah. ever find, I, I mean, do you have a place for every quilt or are you kind of just going to a spot and then finding a place because I, 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 I try to pick a place that we can really uh, find a lot of different uh, varieties yeah. of things going on, lots of different moods. Right. But also, um, one of the things that we've been doing lately is going down to find our location to start with, taking shots and um, coming back and working from the color scheme that is actually in that spot. So our our quilt uh, book that's out at the moment uh, is just about to come out. It's called Quilts by the Sea. And we use this wonderful uh, uh, seaside town that Brandon has a house in down in uh, Hastings. And uh, it was full of the most wonderful, colorful uh, backgrounds. And we found, you know, a place for each quilt. And we made some of the quilts specifically for the kind of coloring we knew we were going to find in that seaside town. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's pretty um, amazing, you know, when I look at it and see, you know, what, you know, the, the book is amazing. Um, mm-hmm. You know, I encourage everybody, Kate, you gave us a wonderful sneak peek here. I'm not trying to sign you off. All right. I'm just saying <laughs> that the, the book is really amazing. I can't mm-hmm. speak more highly about it the photography like I said the collages I mean it's very fascinating to see all of your work I mean they've got paintings in there you've got your knitting in there your needlepoint your hook rugs yeah yeah exactly yeah and it, it, all of those are you know kind of different ways of approaching color are evident and, and Brandon's terrific photography but what what's so interesting about uh this book is that uh, it's been brought out a bit early here in England in some places and it's selling like crazy. I mean, I'm amazed because, uh, you know, it's it's just, I, I'm, I'm always amazed, you know, when the, when the hardback books sell as well as the uh, books that we do annually for mm-hmm. our patch. So I'm, I'm very glad that it is popular with people. People are seeing the point of it. Oh, it's and, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And the cover quilt, I, um, could you show the cover of the book again? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, when I'm I, very, very proud of this quilt because I did the stitching. These yes. Long yeah. red, these, you know, quilting uh, on these circles. So that was really, really fun. I know that you like to do handwork, so it's very nicely yeah. done. Yeah, and these are my shop cottons, which are in. We have such a beautiful range. These these days of the shot cottons and the new stripes um, that are hand woven in India. And they're really shot and really have a lovely uh, glow to them uh, Mm -hmm. when you you move them in different ways, uh, in different lights. I think it was a great, yeah, that's a nice shot. Yes, yes, I love that. You know, pinning it up on, look at that beautiful old gate. That is a gate in, uh, the meat market down in the middle of London. And to paint those Victorian iron gates in those gorgeous colors, what possessed them? Right. I mean, I, I'm thrilled right. <laughs> because it was such a great background. I mean, it was just amazing. So um, uh, I hope that uh, we see a great flood of creativity coming out of people um, from from this approach, you know, to find your own collections. I mean, you could find collections of faces, let's say, or 
some people are obsessed with cats. I'm sure you have some lovely cat fabrics That's or, right. you know, you know, fabrics of vegetables and fruits and things like that and just getting them all together and, 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 and having fun with that. Great book to use your stash. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, 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 it's a great to use your stash and right. to, uh, and, and to build on that stash, you know, go, it's a way of, of, of going out hunting for fabric with a new kind of um, thing Idea. in mind. Right, oh. exactly. Well, Kate, yeah. the other thing that was really good about the book is in the latter part of the book, how all the quilt instructions, so all the instructions are in there. So you gave us a sampling of some of the quilts that are in the book, which are beautiful. So thank you for showing yes. us. And then, you know, it also calls out the fabrics that are needed, uh, not by design, but, you know, yeah, quantities that are move. needed. Right. right. And you've given some guidance on, you know, other ways that these quilts could be recreated with new fabrics as you were just yeah. suggesting, which is great because, yeah. you know, yeah. here it is, recreated. Well, it, yeah. It, I mean, and it's fascinating to me, you know, uh, I, I find starting points when you give somebody a starting point, it's very good. Like, when we do our workshops, we say we're going to take this quilt made of diamonds or of squares or of snowballs or whatever. And we we go into the workshop and people, you know, sometimes say, oh, I want to do my own thing. I want to make up a design. And I said, no, we all stick to the same layout, but you express yourself through the color and the imagination and your own personal slant to your coloring that you bring to that. And it's extraordinary how inventive and exciting people are um, in the workshops. You know, it, you know, somebody said to me yesterday when I was doing a workshop, oh, you must be tired of doing workshops. And I said, oh, contraire, I love doing workshops because I love to see what people are doing with our fabrics and combining them with other people's fabrics. And, you know, mm -hmm. it's just very exciting. Well, you draw inspiration from makers as well, right? I mean, when you're yeah. doing the shop, I mean, not only are you teaching, you know, color, but then to see how people do it, I'm sure inspires you in other ways as well. Oh, totally, totally. You know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is a great example. I, I did this quilt this way because of the workshops that I've given where people were so uh, free with their use of fabrics and, you know, they were so juicy and so... Uh, exciting that it you know I thought I'm, I'm gonna have that approach so yeah it totally influenced me I'm working with Liza credit Liza um yeah I just you know what, what one of the things that that uh is always exciting about Brandon and my relationship is that we have a, a third musketeer we have Liza Lucy in America who works with us and she was a fearless teacher and she taught me a lot about how to, uh, you know, I used to be very, very cautious about people's creativity and you shouldn't guide them too much and shouldn't tell them this and that. And Liza was just go in there and give people guidelines and get them going. And, you know, you don't have them sitting there worrying about the right approach. You just tell them this is the way you get started. And then that pulls the plug out and people really turn on. And so, um, Liza and I, you know, work together a lot and it's mm -hmm. taught me a lot. Well, it's a, a great, all, all of you work so fabulously together and we all thank you for everything that you do because you all bring wonderful things to us to create. So, um, Kaif, I, I, I'm not sure, are there any other things that you wanted to talk about? Yeah, well, Li Liza is the co-author on this book. Um, yeah. so have to remember that no i i think you know that that's it for for the book and i hope that people really get turned on now you got a a question you're gonna ask yes they're gonna we have, have prizes we attached. have a giveaway yes yeah, so we have to yeah. do that so um so if you're still with us uh or anyone that's still with us and cave there's a lot of love being shared so just so that you know we don't have any questions but we have a lot of compliments and love it and hearts and it's beautiful, et cetera, et cetera. So um, thank you to everyone that's been sending their love on. <laughs> um, so we have two giveaways. So the question is, well, let me see what the giveaways are. So we are going to give away one of the books, the Cave Facet Timeless Themes book that Cave just showed. 
And we are going to give away a 16 piece fat quarter bundle to two lucky winners who can answer, who is this book dedicated to? So if you know the answer to that, and you can tell us who Kate dedicated this book to, um, you could potentially be one of the lucky winners, two of them, and we will get in touch with you once they have been selected. So um, I think that's it for today. If you have any questions, like I said previously, go to freespiritfabrics.com or go to the kfacetstudio.com. Um, Kate, do you or Brandon have anything else that you'd like to say before we say goodbye for today? I, I think that's... Okay, that's, I covered I, all. I want to make sure I covered everything. Yeah. Go to our events page for all the exhibitions that we have running and workshops and oh, yes. up and coming tours. Yes. Yes. Like, for instance, the last book we did was uh, uh, Quilts in Wales. Yes. And, and that castle is um, uh, an exhibition of all of our works spread throughout a castle. Can you imagine? Wow. Needlepoint cushions on all the couches and uh, carpets on the floor and quilts, uh, you know, uh, so it's a very, very exciting if somebody wants to go e explore a Welsh castle. All these uh -huh. quilts will be displayed at the Victoria Gallery's bar yes. in July for three months. Yes, if, if anybody wants to come uh, from America or anywhere else to to uh, to England for a nice trip uh, this summer in Bath, where we're having um, a big exhibition of all these quilts. So you can come and see them in the flesh um, in this lovely show, along with wonderful mosaic mirrors by Candace Behooth. Oh, and that wow. will be at the Victoria Galleries in the middle of Bath. You guys have had a very busy year. <laughs> yeah, and they, do, and they do great teas in, uh, you come, come and have a cream tea in, in uh, Bath and yeah. enjoy it. Sharon, we're going to have a, a quilt exhibition in Iowa. Oh, yes. Yes, the end of the year, right? Is it September? Yeah. Yes, September. yes, that's right. I think it's September. And yeah. um, I don't know the, the, all the details in terms of timing, but I know that it's coming. And I know that yeah. your tour starts in October. Is that correct? Here in the United yeah. States? That's right. So, yes, you, you two are very busy gentlemen. So... <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. And I just want to let everyone okay. know that we will be back next month with another sneak peek of Kaif and Brandon with something else to share. So please stay tuned with us. So thank you, Kaif. Thank you, Brandon. Right. We appreciate having you and have a wonderful day, everybody. And thank you for joining us. Bye. Bye.